Wait a second. Yeah! So I've been playing an absurd amount of the new Viking survival game Valheim, and it got me in the mood to start making some Viking terrain. And what's more Viking? The runestones. I grab some foam and begin carving out some shapes. And as always, texturing it with an aluminium bowl. We're going to make five different stone formations. As a potential awesome plot hook for your campaign, we're going to research some viking creatures and we're going to carve them into the stone. Just like the bosses of Valheim. When you've selected your runes and creatures, begin to draw them out with a texter. You might be thinking that it kind of looks like it was drawn by a toddler, which it does. But you gotta remember the Vikings would've done it with a hammer and a chisel, and it really doesn't look good. Have you seen their runestones? Awful. This is gonna look great. Once your guidelines are all set, grab a pencil and begin to make deep grooves in the foam. Then grab the trusty Mod Podge, add black paint, and begin to lather everything. So it's the next morning, I'm in my pajamas, and I eagerly started Mod Podging and forgot to attach the little booby bits. So I'm gonna put my hot on to start heating up, and I'm gonna grab a coffee. I'll be back in a second. Once that I had all the pieces glued on, I had the idea to try and make the carvings glow. I used the red paint and it didn't really work. If you figure out a way, let me know down below. So we left that be and moved on to painting. We're going to start with a heavy overbrushing of grey to get that stone texture. Make sure your brush is dry and don't get into the grooves. I tried a different stone technique using a tan and a brown. I overbrushed a second time to give it a bit of grit and texture. I then followed that up with another overbrushing of brown. I grabbed the tan, grabbed a dry brush, removed most of the paint, and then started hitting all of those high points on the stone to highlight. To sort of meld in all of these layers, I put on a black wash and let it seep really into the grooves. Be generous with this. Once it dries, everything will be a bit dulled down, so we grab a white and very gently dry brush, hitting just the top points. If you put a little bit too much on, just grab your thumb and wipe it off. Once everything's dry, we grab a PVA and begin to lather all of the places we want flocking. Pushing it into the grooves with a paintbrush and painting on some glue sort of vines that the flocking will catch. The flocking I use is a mix match from all of my leftovers from the old projects. It's Woodland Scenics and the links are down below. Once it's generously covered, you can clean it up with the paintbrush before it dries. Way back when I started crafting, I got this sort of mossy substance online. I'll try and find it and put it in the links below, but I filled the cracks with this and it made a really nice bushy look. Then to add a little bit of final detail, I grabbed some twigs from some old dead branch and began to place them in. I repeated this over all of the stones, making sure to vary how the moss looked. And honestly, I was super happy with the result. Let's take a look. Hey congrats, you now know how to make some viking standing stones. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment below letting me know what you want to see. Leave a like on the video and check out my Instagram down below. And as always, I will see you in the next adventure.